Alright, so it's day, well for other people it's like day four or day five of Comic Con for me. It's day two, otherwise known as the final day. The final day. And I'm checking out of the hotel and I'm heading over there right now. And let's go ahead and see what's waiting for us on our final day at Comic Con.
dude. Oh, there's one veteran, uh, University of Super.
You know what I'm saying, right? So I am back home and I apologize for the crudeness of this video presentation because I'm so tired. Alright, my hair is all messed up. I only got one lamp set up, so I'm not gonna bother with all of this because I'm just tired and also because I only got about ten minutes of battery left on my camera after all of the recording I did at Comic Con and only about three minutes of space on my SD card to film the rest of this video. So I'm I'm gonna keep this quick. Basically, I'm just going to sum up what happened on day two. I checked out two panels. One of them was only like half of the panel, and they were already asking questions by then. And it was the Nerdist news updates where they had some of the people from the from the, the company or the, the gaming, or, or not the gaming site, but the website Nerdist, the Nerdist. Uh, they had Jessica, Cho uh, is it Chobot? Chabot? Chobot? Yeah, she was the voice of Mass Effect 3. And she's one of the members of the Nerdist. And so they were talking amongst themselves and also answering questions. And, you know, there wasn't anything too significant there. But they were talking to each other like nerds tend to do. And that's always a delight to see and to witness. Because we're nerds ourselves. So that's pretty cool. But the main panel that I witnessed in its entirety... Actually, b before this panel, I actually got a, a glimpse of the Teen, Teen Titans panel. Which was pretty fun. I wasn't planning on getting into it because I wanted to go into the Lego Batman 3 panel which is the one that I watched in its entirety but I got there a little early so I managed to catch a little bit of the Teen Titans um, uh, panel and it, it was cute it was fun but yeah went into Lego Batman 3 saw the cast of the uh, of the voice cast for Lego Batman 3 I saw the crew who brought the game to life I got some freebies from there I got this poster Lego Batman 3 poster Beyond Gotham and it's in the style of the 60s Batman and speaking of 60s Batman, not only are you going to be able to play a 60s Batman and do all crazy stuff in there, but Adam West will be providing a voice who was there at the panel, and you saw the footage there. I also got a t-shirt for Lego Batman 3, right here. So that's nice. Let me see it. Lego Batman 3, and uh, yeah, here's my bag. My Comic-Con bag, which does not have anything in it there's Kevin Bacon from the following and the following <laughs> and uh, it doesn't really have it it just has you know itineraries and papers and you know schedules and stuff like that I didn't buy anything because I'm saving for my PlayStation 4 next month for my birthday 
I'm getting that myself, and also because I've been spending a little bit too much money. And that was really about it for day two, and I checked out the rest of the exhibit, which you saw the footage of, and I'm happy to be back home, even though I can no longer control the temperature in my house like I did in the hotel. That said, I come home, and there's lightning, and it's humid, and to top it off, we're watching Thor right now on TV, so it's kind of like a 4D experience. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I am out of time, so I am. I will see you guys later. I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash now. See ya.